Shadow Zebra Herd, welcome back to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Today, I wanted to go through the last chapter of the game and try to get all of the bonus endings for all the other characters. When we beat the game last episode, we got the Michelangelo ending, but apparently there's little endings for all of the characters, like we saw with Michelangelo. His was that he has more time to party with pizza or something. So now I want to rebeat the final boss with everybody else. So it should be Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, April, Splinter, and Kisi Jones. So let's start with Leonardo. And hopefully we'll get really good at this boss by the end of it, so we'll have to see how we end up getting through everything. But I'm pretty sure all we have to do is defeat this final thing and we're good. But I guess we'll find out. Of the lady. And to be honest, this boss wasn't too bad. I haven't played in a couple days though, so it might be a little rusty. But I'm hoping that if we just defeat it like this, we should get the other ending. If not, then I'm not really sure how we'll get the other ending without just starting a new save file entirely. But yeah, we'll just do what we can and try to dodge that. Okay, yeah, <laughs> not a bad, good, good start, but like I said, it's it's been a while since I've played, so I might just need to warm up again and figure out how to play. Oh yeah, okay, I do remember this, and then if I just stand, it was sort of right there, but oh no, not good. Got it. Okay, now we can back up, and I think it's gonna go in the center. It's gonna be the super blast, yeah. So if we do about here, we can keep our combo going. And the next chance we get, we can try our super attack. There's two hits there. Okay, go to these guys too. Try not to lose our combo, that'd be great. And Krang's not happy about it. What do you know? Oh, but our combo's gonna go away unless they come over. Ah, oh, yeah, it ended. Oh well, it's fine. I think we'll just try it here. Oh, did that miss? That's unfortunate. I mean, I guess we could just get through it normally like this too, so it's not too big of a deal. I'm waiting for you to slam again. Oh, you're not going to. I overjumped. We have four lives, we're fine. Okay, here comes the, the super again. Just once again, if we just stay to the side, it's actually really easy to dodge. This is definitely one of those bosses that once you know how it works, it's really easy just to avoid. Whoa. And then let's get you a little bit. Oh no. Come on. This guy's being tricky. I just need to slide attack him. Can I grab him or what? I guess not. Okay, super strike, this is all I want. Good enough, good enough. There's Statue of Tyranny gone. I wanna try to get one deep breath. There we go, one deep breath in before we move on because I might end up losing a life here, but we have four of them to go through, so it's not a big deal. And I don't know if I'll include footage of me defeating every boss from beginning to end, just because, you know, we've already seen it. We don't need to see it four or five times, but it's gonna be a pretty quick bonus episode, I feel, just us going through everything. I will get my revenge. Give it up, Shredder. Super Shredder's here, so he's gonna go for that. We know how to fight this guy, basically. If you've seen last episode, you know the deal. Hide in the corner like that, and we can only do damage to him after he does that one move. And that fire always persists for so long. Okay, right now. So we could do that. And then back to this again. Oh no, he got me! Yikes. That's okay. We still have three more lives left. Sorry, Leo. I was trying to avoid these, but they're so tough to dodge. I don't know how you get through this without taking any damage, you know? Just trying to jump around all crazy, but then I accidentally did that. Okay, we just gotta attack him normally for now. And it wasn't too bad, we got some combos from it too. Oh, but there goes the... Yeah, it's not the best spot for it, huh? Come on, that was silly. I just need one more. Jeez, I just can't quite get it. Okay, now's my chance. Whenever he does that, that's definitely a good opportunity. There's a little bit more damage. He tried to get me with that one. Here we go. So now we're back up the two of them. Ah, oh, come on. Oh no. That was maybe not the best move. Now he's gonna do the big blast. We walk over, do a super strike. Maybe even two of them? Yeah, that was really good. Here's our chance. Oh, we got these, which I need to destroy. And I'll do like fire stuff, so I'm trying to run over. And I got it. We'll get to go again. 
That was actually a fair amount of damage. Pretty cool. Ow. Maybe not the best timing, but somehow I dodged it. Go for it. One more, another katana slash. Good job. Deep breath. Deep breath. Oh no. Oh, somehow that doesn't hit me from way over there. That's awesome. I guess it just doesn't reach as far as I thought it would. Okay, he's gonna do the explosion again, but then we just about have him. So we'll see if this ends up getting us the secret ending or not. Or the this, My revenge not secret ending, but impossible. Leo's ending. I don't know, Shredder's defeated. Now's the chance to find out. Looks like another victory for the good. Okay, so episode 16 clear in five minutes. And look at this, we do see it. So obviously this part is the same. Nero can rest easy once more now that Lady Liberty has been restored to her former gleaming glory. And then of course they, they credit the frogs for everything we did, which isn't so fun, but. I think here in a moment, we should see Leo's special ending. So after this, I think I'll just play through each one and just cut to me doing it so that we can uh, not have to burn a bunch of time. But I just wanted to show one more time how this works. So as you can see for Leo, it's a whiff of that pizza. The foot has been foiled. What's next for Leonardo? More training. A ninja is always ready. So pretty cool. So now we've seen Michelangelo and Leonardo's ending. We have two more turtles. Night's the night for the party. So yeah, this part we've seen as well. Friends, family, pizza forever. And this is where we unlocked Casey. I love this scene though, it's so cool. And then it's the credits again, which we've seen. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. I'll be back once we defeat it with Raphael next. Okay, so let's see what Raphael's ending is. I guess he just got delivery. <laughs> Even after beating the bad guys, Raphael is still a hothead. Luckily for him, there are always more baddies to bash. Awesome, he got, what was that, six different boxes of pizza? That's great. So there we go. We have three of the turtles done, one more to go. So let's see uh, Donatello's ending now. He's working on a big machine, of course. What else does Donatello do? To make coffee. With New York safe, Donatello gets back to his machines. I didn't even know he liked coffee. I assume it is, maybe it's tea. Maybe Splinter likes tea, you never know. So there we go, there's another ending done. That's all for the turtles, if you include Michelangelo from last episode. So now we have the other three playable characters to see their ending. So let's see April's ending now. Oh, she has her motorcycle, that's so cool. It has a camera on the back. The news never sleeps for April O'Neil, but tonight, with New York safe again, she can take a break. That's awesome. So there we go, there's April's ending. Now we have Master Splinters. So how's Splinter doing? Just meditating. Shredder has been defeated. Splinter is proud of his sons. His family only grows stronger. That is so adorable. I love how he sees the TMNT group as his sons. It's just such an interesting bond that they have. I always love that very much. But there we go, there's six characters done. We just now need Casey Jones' ending and it'll be all wrapped up. So while we're defeating the bosses, Casey Jones, I figure I'll bring you guys along for the ride because we actually haven't played Casey Jones on camera yet. We just unlocked him for beating the main game last episode. So beware lawbreakers, trophy earned. So Casey Jones, I think is supposed to be April O'Neil's friend. I'm not really sure. But here we are. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes, but I've gotten pretty used to fighting, crying at this point, so I should be able to get through this without taking damage, I hope. Really where the difficulty comes in is just getting lucky with some other things and hoping that, okay, I can just keep attacking from here. It looks like Casey Jones has some good reach. Okay, I thought I did that one too soon, but luckily I'm good, I'm fine. Already about halfway through, and this is where we just need to be a little bit careful. It looks like Casey actually maybe doesn't have the best of reach because we can't reach from there. That's unfortunate, yeah. Never mind. Casey does not have good reach. Okay, got it. Beat up these guys in the meantime though, because we can. Batter up. There you go. Batter up. These guys a little bit. Oh, and that one fell off. Interesting. Batter up. This guy's bucket. Oh, that's right. Because we are—he's level zero. He doesn't have two of the the meters. Gotcha. So we gotta be careful about that. Okay, this is good. This is good. That one's very easy to dodge. It's the easiest dodge to move, and ah, oh, I didn't do that. And never the easiest move to dodge. Sorry, get my words mixed up and my move mixed up. 
Now, some characters can reach the fists during this move, but I guess Casey can't. So I don't know if Casey's really the best character to get this done without taking any damage. Because that's still just something I'm trying. <laughs> I love the golf, golf club move. He even puts a little golf hat. Come on, oh, just one more hit is all I need. Got it, awesome. So there we go, and while we did take some damage, it was barely anything, and that's the statue tyranny defeated. Now he's gotta take on Shredder. Can't wait to see the super move, though. So pretty cool to unlock a whole new playable character for beating the game. It would be cool if you could unlock Shredder somehow, or some characters like that, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe at some point there'll be DLC or something, you never know. Let's go for it. Okay, so I'm pretty comfortable with fighting Shredder at this point. I don't think I'll be able to do it without taking damage, but the concept of getting through without it being too much of an issue. Oh gosh, never mind. <laughs> Maybe I'm struggling more than I thought, but basically there's no chances to attack him except for after he's sort of overcharged. Usually he doesn't do this section for too long, but here he is. Okay, so then he does the fire. And the easiest way I found the dodge of fire is just to do a jumping pattern like that, which even that isn't so easy, because it's also easy to accidentally sprint. But then when he does this, he's gonna overcharge, and we want to run into him and then do this. Whoa, so he's just spinning his step all over the place. That's really cool. I was not ready for that one. Okay, so here comes the fire, but seeing how he's at that specific angle, the top layer of fire just sort of breaks in the background. So I was able to charge up our super move. I'm not seeing the jump here. But it's good to run in like that and then do it because we get that one extra hit of damage as we're heading in. And sometimes you can get one or two hits in after. Okay, so here he goes again with this. Okay, I think we're good. Does he call Shredder a scuzz bucket? What does that even mean? Okay, so once again, we sort of got the pattern down pretty well at this point. Casey feels pretty good to play too, so that's awesome. Ooh, was able to dodge out. It feels like he's a slower character though. Dodge through that. Yeah, his, oh come on, that is not at all what I wanted to do. That was silly. Um, it feels like his dodge is one of the most underwhelming. Okay, didn't get a ton for that. Come on, yeah, his jump also. Not so good. So he seems like maybe powerful, but just not super mobile. But hey, that's a lot more damage. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be close. Yeah, not quite getting it. Oh, well, that's fine. He's going for us again. Oh, that didn't work. Darn. Okay, I just need a little bit more time, but I guess we'll just go for a normal attack. It might still be enough. Ah, oh, so close. One more phase, one more phase. We'll get it though. Especially I could just hang out right over here. And then this thing again. Sort of a pain, but it is what it is. Got it, and right there. So there we go. My revenge. Shedder defeated Impossible. for the seventh time to get every ending. Okay, so it looks like Casey has bound up some of the Foot Clan. Crime fighting never stops for Casey Jones. So I guess he's just another crime fighter in the city, you know? Teams up with the Turtles every once in a while. Not too bad. So with that, that should be every ending in the game unlocked. Now when I did uh, Shredder's ending before, the game crashed after the cutscene, so I don't know if that one actually counted for the challenge. We'll go ahead and check that out right now to see if we got all seven endings challenge done. If not, we're gonna leave it be, but that's honestly everything I sort of wanted to do in this game. We got all the endings. Of course, you could replay the game in multiplayer, in arcade mode, which is basically the same thing, just slightly more difficult because we have lives and stuff. But it's still the same game, so I'm not super duper into it, but over here in the trophies, what I'm curious about, turn to sender, Bring all characters to max power. Okay, so now we're looking for, let's see, where are the endings? Complete all special requests, find all cameos, complete a stage, 
Here it is. See, so yeah, that last one, not the last one, but the one before that didn't count because I saw the cutscene and then during the credits the game crashed. So that would be the complete cast, but there were still plenty of other trophies we didn't get anyway, so it's not the end of the world that we didn't get that one. Maybe at some point I'll try it, but for right now I think, like I said, that's all I really want to do with the game. If you guys want to see more episodes, see me play through arcade mode, you can definitely let me know. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.